Good afternoon. My name is Mary and I work here at the Carter County Public Library and I want to talk to you today about a book I recently read. I like to read a lot of historical fiction and this book was right up that alley. If you've ever read any of Jennifer Schiaverini's books, the one I want to talk to you today is called Miss Lincoln's Sisters. And you may have read, this one just came out in 2020, and she, this came out in 2013, Ms. Lincoln's Dressmaker. You may have read that back then, but if you read that, you'll certainly want to read Ms. Lincoln's Sisters. You probably know a little bit about her. She was married to President Lincoln. Um, they had four children. They had four boys. Only one of them lived. Mary was from a large family. She had seven siblings from her mother, and then her when her mother passed, her father got married again and she had nine step siblings. She was one of the few girls that was sent away to school and was actually highly educated from that family. First she didn't like the idea of going away but she kind of took to it later on. But it, this book talks about her growing up and it's an interesting the book because it does flip back and forth between the current time that they're in in the late 1800s and flip back to their growing up in the earlier 1800s and it, it's told by the different sisters so let's see, her sisters, Elizabeth, Frances, and Anne, they all thought a whole lot of her. And when she, she got declared mentally insane in 1875 by her son, Robert. Now, I mentioned earlier she had four children, and we all know she had a husband. She had already lost three of her children and her husband, which we all know she was sitting right beside when he was assassinated. So you can kind of see where that might have maybe made her a little bit unstable. But apparently she unfortunately tried to commit suicide, and that's why her son Robert had her put in an institution. Well, when she was in there, she obviously didn't like it too well. And so her sisters worked together to try to get her out. And they actually, she came to live with her sister Elizabeth for a while in Illinois. And it talks about how that worked well, and sometimes it didn't work well. Um, Ms. Lincoln had some habits. Uh, one of them was um, she was kind of a shopaholic. It made her feel better, I guess, to go out and buy lots of things that maybe she did or didn't necessarily need. But she did have some uh, eccentric ways that this book will talk about. And it talks, one thing it just really brings out is the love of family, how her sisters, even though they had, some of them had been estranged from her for quite some time and hadn't seen her in quite some time, how these sisters came together to try to help their sister, Mary. Um, it's a very good book. It moves quite along fast. Like I said, it does go back and forth between the current and the, uh, the modern time that they're talking in and, and her past. But we believe, I believe you really enjoy this book. I enjoyed it. I actually read it in like two afternoons. It was a really good, fast read. And very historically accurate if you like historical fiction. Interesting to know that Ms. Lincoln had a very hard life, and even though she was in the public eye, she didn't always make some of the best decisions. And I think you might enjoy this book. Like I said, if you've read any of other, her, uh, Jennifer Schiavarini has the uh, Elm, Elm, Elm Creek Quilt series. And I think you might like, you'll certainly like Mrs. Lincoln's Sisters. Thank you, and I hope you enjoy this book, and have a good day.